Hey folks, there are those big Jeep Wrangler guys that want to put these big knobby tires on there. Check this out. I want you to check out this wear, this wear pattern on the threads. All right, these are the rear tires. I just put them in the front. These are the front tires. If you look, look at the ones in the middle here. You see this? There's usually a, a line there, okay? Like over here, you see? has another little line, okay? Here's a line. All right, it's missing here. Okay, it's wearing out. And if you look at it, let's get, see if you can hold it in such a way where you can see it. You're gonna see it. It wears unevenly. You see, it's like ramped up, and it's every other one. Okay, so if you look at it, this is a pattern. This is bald. Pattern bald. Pattern, bolt, and it goes all the way around. The same thing on the inside here. Okay, and if you run your hands over it, you can also see that it's lower here, taller here. See, this one's taller. Okay, it's not smooth straight across like this, like a tire is supposed to be. This one, it's starting to wear out, and your hands hit it. It's a little bumpy. So, this is the reason why you make a lot of more noise and also a reason why the gas mileage is bad. Usually when it's every other thread, it's usually bad shocks. But since this is a lifted truck, you already went past the uh, stock modification. So if this is something you just gonna have to deal with. I say you just rotate the tires, then try to put these in the rear and try to wear them flat. And then I have to create a pattern on these. All right, but yeah, you can see it. All right, see it's missing something you could actually even by looking at here you can see it that it ramps okay maybe this way you can see it looks like cobblestones nothing's all even but when you look at this one it's nice and even see this one not the same all right that's it want big tires the price you pay thanks for watching